say a few words. Uh, first, we would like to invite Captain Chris D'Souza up here. He has a special gift for Coach Wilson. Coming. I'd like to say, start off thanking the Blue Liners for hosting this end of season banquet. Thank you. <laughs> I'd also like to thank the parents for supporting the boys this winter as well as the girls team. Thank the parents. A special thank you to Joe Curtis and Ron Barney for running the workout program. I'd like to thank the uh, the hockey uh, um, for giving everything they had during the games and practices. I also want to thank my coaches. Thank you, guys. You gotta understand, uh, as you know, it's giving up three months of your life. I hate talking. <laughs> Joe, I need a class in public speaking. Can you help me out with that, please? You're okay. Take a breath. You're good. Giving up three months of their time. These coaches gave up three months, three months of their time to coach, teach, push these kids every day to be better. I get the best staff around. A round is a shape for us coaches. <laughs> Last, I want to say thank you to my family. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, Chloe, Henry. Who is that that helped me together? Uh, The house. I was all alone. <laughs> yeah, I, I really should have someone read this stuff to me, but I, mean, I guess it's all a joke to you people. So it's a good day. I wasn't around a lot between my day at my job and you know, I eat. I was gone ten to twelve hours a day. I'm even shaking. <laughs> you know, on Saturdays, as your parents go, kids leave at 2 o'clock for a 6 o'clock game, we're not home for 6 to 8 hours. My wife was there, my daughter was there. Hey. I also want to thank you, the parents. They helped Hurricane running around the rink, yes. grabbing yes. shovels and banging in the stands and not trying to knock people out during the game. Thank you for your support. Now I'd like to, uh, you want to do this to us now? Sure. All right. Okay, I'm gonna hand this back over to Beth with the blue liners. Thank you. We'd like to have Coach O'Brien up to introduce the JV team, please. Thank you, boys. Welcome. Not exactly sure if every 
everybody made it, but um, why don't we first just have you guys stand up and we'll give you guys a round of applause. For Go ahead and stand up, Evander Coslin. Oliver Pendleton. Our JV hockey players. As you guys know, we use the eighth graders all the time to, as a feeder system into the JV hockey program. So it can be a stretch when we're asking those eighth graders to work at high school age level all the way up to juniors in high school. These guys really support each other all season long. It was very impressive and it was a pleasure to coach these guys this year. So thank you guys. Next up, if we can have the girls um, high school hockey coaches come up, please. <laughs> for having our girls here. I know they really appreciate it and to be part of the Somerville Hockey program as a whole. Um, thank you to the parents for your support throughout the season and for supporting us tonight as well. And um, we, it was a big year for both teams. We both ended up making it to the tournament, which is great for um, the Somerville Hockey team. girls sitting in front of us from Somerville. You guys were always working hard. Um, we were in a lot more games than we have been in past seasons. We improved our record this year and um, they, they fought to the end of every game, win or lose. So it was a good, definitely a good year for them and as sophomores um, we know that there's a lot more and as Abby is an eighth grader there's a lot more in the future. Um, yeah. I'll call you guys up. Um, so first we have Mary Duffy. Yeah. 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 Turn around. Turn around. 
picture. Coaches One of the coaches involved. Oh, Shut up, Chloe. Look at Norma, you did. Next we're going to do the coaches, we apologize to the girls coaches, we just found out you guys were coming last week. <laughs> Coach Kevin Wilson. Uh -oh. Coach O'Brien. Coach McDonald.
Jack Donovan. Thank you. 